Hello everyone, it is I, the square root of negative one. Today we are playing Survive.io Potato Mode. I wanted to make this video yesterday, but I didn't have the patience to wait for the mode to rotate, so here I am making it today. I'm sure it doesn't really make a difference because I ended up having a great Cobalt win last video, and if you want you can just go take a look at that and the rest of my channel. So yeah. We are now in the storm bunker. Oh, no. okay. I got an idea about this one. Actually, you know what? This is a better idea. Wait, what the? Huh. I guess that was a little fast. Wasn't able to tell if that guy had a tracker. Ah, nice. A Bowie knife. What's interesting is how those knives are named. They were actually named after a, um, a Texan historical figure named Jim Bowie. He just, I don't remember his story word for word, but I do know that it was, um, very full of, full of adventure, romance, and, uh, let's see, what's the other one? I'd say quite a bit of crime, too, because his family was running scams. He ended up moving to Texas, where he became a fighter in the Texian army for independence. However, he never lived to see Texas be independent, as he got sick and died at the Alamo. Which I'm sure you all know a bit about. There's a reason they say, remember the Alamo. Anyway, got a stone hammer. I will now medicate myself. And one of those guys is going nuts. Or miraculously, that's my teammate going nuts because he's got a naganada. Yeah, good for you. I'm going to throw this grenade on top of a potato and watch the magic happen. Yay, strobes. I love those things. Why do you have it? Lucky. Alright, we got some mines, so let's lay them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna pick up one of my P30Ls, swap it, then pick up this P30L and swap it. So that's just a trick you can use to make dual pistols more useful. Here. What? I just got a UMP9. And that my teammate has a Saiga. OTS38. I can't use the same trick again because I already have an SV98. Okay. I'm gonna shoot that potato right over there. BSS. Oh, hey, what do you know? That was lucky. And an M4A1S. The M4A1S is my favorite assault rifle. Period. There's absolutely nothing that can beat it. Eh. It's a Mosin. That's a Mosin Nagant. You can take that if you want, but I'm keeping this. SV98 is the way to go. Okay, so we did take the Mosin. Hey, I was here before. Yeah, earlier in the video, while I was telling y'all about Jim Bowie. Now I'm going to demonstrate the incredible capabilities of the M4A1S. See? But now, I have a PKM instead. Uh-oh, incoming! Let's get out of here! Oh, Dawn. Um, I know this guy. And he's gonna come for me next. So I'm gonna hide in this storm bunker. If he comes, I'll blast him with a PKM. Or at least try to. Now... I should probably take care and note the fact that these commuter terminals are not in good shape. Let's actually use this. I'm just gonna toss a mine right there. Toss one here. Whoa! Incoming potato! Potato cannon. Oh, hey, this can help. A pan. And of course this guy has a jilly suit. I don't think this will protect me very well, but... Wish me luck, people! I'm gonna go hit this guy with a PKM. Now I have a Mark 45G. So I'll swap this out for a decent machine gun. What really, what I really don't like about the Bar M19 is that it has such a low mag capacity. I don't need this, but I'll keep the ammo and an M4A1S, just what I want. Then I'll have an 8 to shoot Mr. Spud Gun 
And then, I will reign supreme in this game mode. I wonder what happened to the guy that killed my teammate. But either way, we will honor your sacrifice. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to save him. It would have been nice to be able to do that, but hey, we can't have everything we want, can we? Okay, so that's the kill leader, I believe. And he is good. But, good thing the Mosin Nagant, on paper, the Mosin Nagant is no match for the SP-98. Which is why... Okay, that's the Mr. Billy Sweet down. Uh-oh, TKM, get to this cover. This is indestructible. Oh, crap, he's reviving. I gotta grab that jelly suit. There we go, that's it. That's all I need. Spud gun. Alright, people, let's rumble. Uh-oh. Really? An M1911? What a joke. What an actual joke. Oh, no, Super 90! I'm gonna try and... Dodge and block. Um, let's see. I blend in pretty well with this frying pan. Luckily, I don't really need to worry about, um... I do need to worry about the fact that this guy's got a frying pan, too. But you can't block him. I do very What the heck? I'm actually losing this guy. Soda. Let's see if I can find some more general medics down here. Quick. There's some. Oh wait, those are medical. I don't need that. Okay. So I have to be able to beat these guys. I, otherwise, I'll die. And see, I died, so... I don't think I would have lasted much longer, but a second place is fine. Let's use that to go for first. Just going for the best I could do. Because there's only one way to get good at Survive.io, and I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's play Survive.io over and over and over again. Play all the modes. Use all the weapons. You have to get familiar with every type of asset you could possibly be using. Get good with your throwables. You know when to use your medical items and when not to. It's all about... How should I put this? It's all about the knowledge. Like, that's what I like about this game. It just, you got to memorize stuff, which fortunately I'm very good at doing. You also have to be quick on the draw with your dual deagle, as I was. What am I going to do with all this extra 50 action express ammo, though? Well, I don't have any medical items, so I should probably try and find some. Hey, that's some um, ish kind of what I was looking for. Not quite. Last potato. Mac 10. All right. Now, I'm going to start talking about some of my favorite weapons. Yay! So, I would say that my favorite pistol, ooh, I'm not sure. My favorite to use would probably be the M93. Like I I like that because it's common enough and I can and I can single and dual wield them in M93R with ease. Alright, this is the same loadout we had last game, so let's see if we can get a better, better melee. Now the trick here is to use a weak weapon to destroy the um, potatoes. So you drop your weapon, and if, and if the thing you get stinks, swap it out. The problem is, then you end up with a lot of melee weapons lying around, which isn't exactly advisable. And I think you all can figure out why that's inadvisable. I'm just going to mark that point, come back later. Let's see if we can try and get some strobes, or mines. Those are all good. Strobe! Yay! What's the opposite of jinxing something? Because, like... Because it definitely wasn't bad. I know jinxing is bad. So you don't want to jinx something. But I said, hopefully I'll find a, um, a strobe. And then I did. What does that mean, then? Is it the opposite of a jinx? I don't know. You guys will have to explain to me how this works. Um, let me know in the comments. And also, I really would enjoy it if y'all 
put on your ideas. This isn't final, but I am thinking of redoing the How to Troop a Battlefront series. Let me know if I should do that. Like, what should I... Like, I'm thinking of redoing a lot of videos on the channel, simply because, like, I think they could all be formatted better. Short answer. Take this. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, Staga. This is... Anyway, back to favorite weapons. I think my favorite SMG would be the CZ-3A1. I know it's ridiculously rare, and, like, if I could get my hands on it, that's awesome. But if I had to stick with something more common, I'd go with the Vector. 9mm. The 45 ACP Vector is perfectly fine with, um, the Firepower Perk. Problem is, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Firepower Perk. Mostly because it's just, like, I end up needing to find more ammunition. And then stuff like this happens. Like, where I need to find a weapon, but can't. So I'm just gonna bonk this guy with a frying pan, or at least try to. Oh, come on! I swear, I, I'm gonna hit this guy with a frying pan. Watch this. Darn it! I am wasting my time, I guarantee it. And this is what I get. An M9. Or more accurately, a Bowie knife. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not gonna complain. Uh oh. I could try to gut this guy with a knife, but that will not work because he's got a knife. I don't want to get close to that. Oop. Okay, good, this toilet is used. This means it has more stuff in it. Although that's not gonna matter if I don't survive. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hanging by a thread there. Just one more for good measure. I'd like to see someone shoot that well. Oh, come on. Darn it, I gotta reload. Come on, come on. I got you. I, I knew that was a mistake. I was trying to yee-haw him with a peacemaker. Guess that doesn't really work. I mean, I kind of like the peacemaker too. Now, my favorite assault rifle is, as I've said before, the M4A1S. Because it does high damage, it's silenced, it is nearly impossible to evade. Now, shotgun is the Saiga. Saiga is my favorite shotgun. Actually, no, it's not the Saiga, it's the USAS-12. Forgot about that one. Everyone forgets the USAS because it usually... It doesn't behave very much like a shotgun. Because it launches frag rounds. If I can get my hands on a USAS, I'll explain. Now for DMRs. I'd say one of my favorites is the M1 Garand. Despite its low capacity, it does extremely high damage. And overall, I just... I like a lot of things about it. And for LMGs... My favorite is the M249, because of its high fire rate, high damage. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's got a long reload time, but I can make up for that. Right along there with that is the PKP, which isn't... I wouldn't say it's as good, but I do like its higher magazine capacity and shorter reload. And my favorite sniper rifle is the most Nagant. The reason I like it so much... Okay, speaking of... Yeah, see? This is why I like the M4A1S. But only when I have it, because I just got killed by it. And that's pretty much it. It's all my favorite weapons. Still haven't figured out what to name this video. I'll figure it out. What I like about Potato Mode is that you can get weapons that you usually cannot obtain the basic mode that I really wish were available like I wish you could get a USAS 12 but it is nearly impossible to find because I'm about to let you in on a small tiny secret the USAS 12 does not spawn on the default map yep you heard me right 
the USAS-12 does not spawn on the default map. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it's OP. But... Actually, that's not true. Um, it's not good if you don't know how to use it. Same goes for the Mosin. Like, those are weapons that, if you're a noob, you're gonna get annihilated if you have them. But if you're a pro, you definitely, definitely will dominate. That's why it's just, like, a thing that you gotta do. Like, you gotta get good with all weapons. Like, see? Even getting kills with an M9. Even though it's difficult, it is perfectly doable. And the crazy thing is, you won't even die half the time. Sometimes you will, but sometimes you won't. Dying's part of the game. Like, that's why I hate hackers so much. Because it requires no skill. Like, people can have no skill and win. Like, that's not supposed to happen. That isn't how it works. Like, I would say that it is, like, it is incredibly infuriating when you encounter a hacker that kills you, even if you have something really good, like this loadout right here. Okay, I can do better than this, but... <laughs> but I know a few tricks for killing a hacker. Like, if they have a tracking thing on, on them, then you can just you can actually kill them fairly easily as long as you don't let them get close because then they'll just punch your lights out and you'll die which you don't want I'm sure I'm keeping the pans right now. I'm gonna arrive for this guy if they come back I'm gonna blast them with a shotgun. If they don't, I'll blast this potato with a shotgun. D.A.R. Oh. He got him. Thanks, teammate. You're awesome. Actually, no, I don't want that. Take this motion to gaunt. <laughs> Although reloading will have to wait. Hmm. Ah, I got it. I'm gonna use this OT38 to see if I can get a better weapon than this in the gaunt. That was easy. Alright, I found a better loadout. A Super 90 and a CZ3A1. Now, the thing that really does it for me with a Super 90 is the fact that it's just... It shoots slugs. Like, that's what really ruins it for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> just gotta watch out, because those bullets do end up being reflected. SVD-63, we can get this. This guy is really, really good. Like, it's actually painful. But hey, we got him, so yay. Nice, potato cannon. Let's try and, aha! Uh, the CZ3A1 also employs the bullet beams, which is pretty nice. Hold on. Let's go around this end, I'm gonna... Oh no. Whoa, AWM! Better drop that, because... Darn. Holy crap. Does a ton of damage. Whoa! Watch out. Oh, I know. He won't be able to hit me as easily in here. More importantly... Aw, oh, darn it. My teammate was actually really good. And I only have one kill, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this guy as long as he's got his AWM. Yup, M134. Oh, I'm Gotcha! People are being- oh frick. Um... There's only two enemies. If they're on the same team, I'm screwed. Because I will never be able to beat that. 
if they're not on the same team, I'm gonna breathe one gigantic sigh of relief. Luckily, Kill Leader shouldn't be too hard to kill. Got this cannon. Oh, no, no, no. Wow, that's actually gonna screw me over. Ah, come on, this guy's got small arms. Literally and figuratively. Can't tell if he's hacking or not, is he? I, I don't know. Let's reload. I think that's kill leader. Yep. It's all, it all comes down to this. Red zone in. Wait, I got it. Oh crap, Saiga! No! Gosh darn it! That's the second second place I've had this this video. So close. If my teammate hadn't died, I probably would have been able to to get him. I think. But we'll never know because my teammate did not survive. Which is ironic, because the game is called Survive IO. <laughs> or Survive, whatever you want to say. Now, what definitely isn't going to be disappointing. Oh, good. My teammate got that guy. The one guy that killed me. I can't believe it. Oh, whoa. Hey, that's my soda. I'm going to get that back. Assuming that this thing doesn't lag. Whoa! That was so lag. I don't know what happened. Like, what was that all about? Just lagged out and died. That's disappointing. Now, we are going to destroy everything in this greenhouse because I am disappointed. Actually, no, that's not why we're going to destroy everything in this greenhouse. The real reason is because I want good stuff. And I also know that there is a 100% chance of getting an AK-47 inside the chrysanthemum bunker, which is the bunker that I'm about to enter in a few seconds. See? This locker always has an AK. And then there's the code you gotta put in. If you know it, then then you may access the riches awaiting you. What I usually do is I, before I knew the code, I would just wait for somebody else to input it, then kill them, take all the stuff. It worked pretty well, but then, but sometimes like in this game, it's oh, never mind. Sweet Naganata. Gotcha! Let's swap up for this M4A1S. Now get a load of this. And an M1 Garand. This day can't get any better. I mean, I can win, but we're not concerned about that. What we're concerned about is performing at peak capacity for survivors like ourselves. Now, we're gonna break open these crates, get some ammo. Okay. We don't need to worry about that ammo. Okay, but the red zone is going to advance on this area. So we are going to get out of the... We're going to go into the safe zone. Just because. Now, I don't have anything that I want to swap out. My teammate may want to. Someone's got dual flare guns. Let's go. Follow that airplane. I knew it. Called him in at almost the exact same spot. But, I marked the area so my teammate would... But where's the other one? Now, 
Now, we better watch out because as I Incoming. Let's boost my adrenaline. One more thing I forgot to mention about potato mode. All airdrops are golden. So. So yeah. Aw, oh, come on. That was kill leader one of our last games. Here, just come on. I'll, I'll get you. I've got you. Get up. Now. Healing yourself, you're on your own. Because I got my full adrenaline. Uh oh. Darn it! I probably shouldn't have done that. I wasn't expecting it. But that'll be the last video. Two second places isn't so bad. I really would have liked to have been numero uno, but hey, we can't get everything we want. And I'll need to have more practice. So I will see y'all later. Later!